it is astounding that somebody who lives in place X in the United States or Canada or some other westernized democracy in Europe, for example, you know, screams aloud about the death of a lion or an elephant, sometimes by local people who may even poison those animals to protect their own livestock and crops. But as soon as they see a cockroach in their own home, they immediately get on the phone, call the exterminator, and they want an army of human beings to come in to eliminate this harmless insect from their domain. But they expect people elsewhere to live with animals that will kill them, that do kill them, that maim them, that eat them, that kill their children, that kill their grandparents, that cause, in some cases, massive destruction for these people. And I think we should be exposing this great falsehood for exactly what it is. Oh, so you won't live with this individual screaming as they see a cockroach running across their sink, but you would like these people to live with that, which is a line with the entrails hauled out of a domestic goat or a statistic that reads, you know, 150 people were killed in Africa this year by marauding lions. So I really think we need to challenge that fundamentally and head on. You know, I gave a lecture in South Africa um, a couple of years ago talking about many of these kinds of things and uh, a lady came up and spoke to me and she said, Mr. Mahoney, you know, um, you know, your talk about science and your, your, your lovely stories about animals and all of that. We, I agree with all of what you said with regard to that. But you know, we have a different problem than you have in North America. We're eating our wildlife out of existence. So this is another issue of contrast, you know. People here cannot understand why rural peoples in other parts of the world, such as Africa or parts of Asia, it doesn't matter, are consuming so much wildlife that they're depleting it. But the reason they don't understand it is because they're not hungry.